It's locked. Hmm. Smell a suspect. You know, sus. A little sussy. Anyways, I think it's time for some serious confrontation. Get ready for some more Nancy Drew here on Travis J's Space. On you. <laughs> Enjoy! Travis J Space here on YouTube and welcome to the premiere episode of Nancy Drew and the Haunted Carousel. Yes, you waited. You voted. You voted for this one, you guys. Yes, this is all you. I don't know what I was going to pick next. I don't know what game we were going to do or which direction we were going to take. I know when I first decided to uh, plan out the Nancy Drew Let's Play series. I, uh, I I know I had a bit of a sheet. I had like a cheat sheet that basically had an itinerary of what games we were going to do in what order. Um, but that's, that's since been lost. <laughs> Hence why I decided, you know what? Let's let them decide. The Clue Crew. Let you guys decide. And, uh, and not just a Clue Crew, we had a really, really successful uh, turnout for the votes. Um, and yeah, I was excited. Every, every, um, every phase along the way of the voting was really exciting because um, not only did I have you guys help vote, um, but I also extended it further into my personal circles and had the vote running there as well. So a lot of you guys really got just as... Uh, <laughs> As in, as in, um, anticipated as I was. I was very anticipate, or I was, what's the word for that? I was anticipated, or I anticipated the outcome. Yeah, yeah, we anticipated the outcome together. Um, and it turned out great. I was really happy that you guys, um, uh, voted and, and kind of put your two cents in. And because I want to hear from you guys too. And I think it's not just me um, playing, you know, I, I like to incorporate the viewers too, because I do it for you guys. I do it for you too, for the fun of it, for the love of Nancy Drew, and to connect with, uh, other Nancy Drew fans, and, you know, so we can do something together. We have some fun, and make some memories, and experiences. Now, um, ooh, there was something I was going to bring up, and I'm really good at forgetting stuff, as you already know. So, Bye bye to that thought. <laughs> the thought has left the brain train. <laughs> choo choo. <laughs> oh, making no stops and no returns either, apparently. Um, but yes, I do apologize um, that this has taken so long. I know we uh, we finished that vote like ten days ago, probably a, probably about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Um, <clears throat> I've been uh, struggling a lot physically. So I know I mentioned way back, probably in March or so, uh, when we were doing White Wolf of Icicle Creek, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure anyways. I'm not sure what mystery we were on at the time, but during March, um, my health started to decline and go downhill progressively. Um, so of course I had to take those hiatuses there which were not fun. And then after the second hiatus, when June rolled around, I made a pact to you guys. I made a vow. I said, you know what? From now on, starting this summer, if Travi J gets sick again, it doesn't matter. Come rain or shine or cats and dogs fall from the sky. I, I will be right here with you. You and me. So I might have a rough throat one day. Um, Maybe I'm short of breath, or my energy's low, or my brain starts to go because there's a whole bunch of elements to what I have that are um, impacting 
different jurisdictions of my body. So it's difficult. It's frustrating. I get mad at myself a lot. <laughs> and you may find as I'm playing, I may kind of uh, get a little edgy with myself sometimes. So it's just that. I should just be trying to adjust and accept and move forward and, you know, to look at my illness and say, listen, <laughs> you are not stopping me from getting this mystery finished. <laughs> So, come rain or shine, it will always be some kind of uh, majestic experience here at Tribe of J's Space. So, and I appreciate you guys. I really am grateful for you guys and your patience and bearing with me and just accepting everything that comes with me, along with me. That just really, it gives me peace. It gives me just a sense of serenity and uh, a weight off my shoulders, really. So... Thank you. I love you. Mwah. You guys are awesome. So, without further ado, that I've got that out of the way. Oh, and I was also working on a music video as well. <laughs> That's another reason why I wasn't, I couldn't get this episode rolling out. Um, was because I recorded a cover after like five or six years, and it really started taking off into this bigger project. Like every day, this project became bigger and bigger. So I ended up making, you know, a lyric video, and then uploading that, and. It took me a week to record uh, different parts for a music video, different locations and stuff, and so, and that's a project I can't even really actually edit and get into, uh, I discovered last week, until about October, so it's, it's, it's a project that's actually going to cost me money, so <laughs> that's, that's the investment I'm putting into this project, because there's a lot of creative elements I can't achieve without certain uh, websites and uh, certain uh, tools that I can't access with um, the tools that I already have. I could, I very well could make a music video or take the pieces I have and create a really cool music video with um, the editor I have that I use for, you know, episodes and smaller projects and stuff like that. But I really want to expand my horizons, you know? I want to challenge myself. I want to do something I haven't done. And a music video was on my bucket list, so I got it all recorded in order to, I guess, to be specific, to remove the backgrounds from each video. That's what's cost me the money. Who had, who knew that that would cost so much? A ridiculous prices for for that for each video. It goes by each minute. So, yikes. <laughs> Yeah, but it's because there's so many content creators these days, right? It's a massively, uh, it, it's a growing jurisdiction of, of um, creation and creativity on the internet. So I think I think their prices are justified or yeah, justifiable. It makes sense. You know, I kind of just thought about it practically and thought, okay, yeah, everyone's probably demanding this service right now, so so I'll have to wait. I'll wait. And if you guys are waiting, I don't know if any y'all watching caught on to all that and saw that the music video is coming just wait <laughs> wait until the fall and we'll get there and as well as ethereal ethel i haven't stopped working on that either lots of notes lots of notes so hang tight but for now we've got mysteries to solve and that i can't forget or put on the back burner so are you with me we are starting oh i didn't even i didn't even create a new page for this oh look at this look at this blackmore manor and now the haunted carousel i don't even know if i have my pen here hmm. my my purple pen okay okay we'll just um we'll just use this one today <laughs> blue pen <laughs> all right so yes you guys voted you got it your your wish is my command nancy drew the haunted carousel we're taking a softer approach for the next one this mystery is known to be uh kind of um kind of a lighter one it's it's not as uh you know difficult or scary or i was gonna say spooky all the same stuff but yeah it's a little uh it's a little more laid back, you know? It's like we're taking a Sunday cruise with this one. So I'm I'm happy because 
all those back-to-back -back scary mysteries were, were really starting to get me on edge. So I'm grateful you guys didn't, haven't uh, put me up to uh, a, a creepy challenge, a scary challenge, because yeah, I don't know if I had much, much more energy in me for yet another scary one. So taking a light and bright. So y'all ready? You got your blanket? Sorry, do you have your tea? Yes? Oui, oui, c'est bon? Très bien. All right, you got your tea? Got your blanket? I might have to whip this off soon because I'm actually getting kind of hot. I have to pull it up. Free my legs. Oh. <laughs> there we go. And you got your, you got your, oh gosh. You, you got your blanket too? Oh. Oh, okay, yes. We're going for the micro fleece. Is that? Let me feel it. Um, uh, right, I can't. Sad face. All right, well, you got your tea, you got your blanket, that's great. And the most important question of all the questions, are you cozy? Are you comfortable? Snug as a bug in a rug? Excellent. That's all that matters. As long as you're comfortable and cozy, I'm comfortable and cozy. Nancy, well, I don't know if she's comfortable and cozy, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's jump right in, folks. Without further ado, and I also just want to say thank you guys so much for coming together and, and continuing to make this a thing. Like, I know I would do this regardless if nobody watched, you know? I know eventually someone would, would stumble across and say, oh, I like Nancy Drew, you know? But it, it's your guys' energy and inspiration and motivation and encouragement just by commenting and liking and connecting with me on the Tribe J Space Instagram page. I've made a lot of friends through there and you guys are like awesome. <laughs> I love you guys so much. And I just love that we all bond through the mutual admiration and deep passionate love for all things Nancy Drew. So I want to take that moment before we begin. Thank you. You are awesome. <laughs> all right, let's go. Welcome to my latest case, The Haunted Carousel. To start Ooh, playing, choose carousel. either junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose tutorial. Yeah, we're not, we're, we're pretty good at this. Now, we will eventually do Senior Detective. I mentioned this in the first premiere episode of Every Nancy Drew Mystery. We will get here, okay? We will, I promise. We're gonna go through all the mysteries junior, and then we're gonna go through all the mysteries again in senior. And Senior Detective is, is an area that I have never explored off the, um, recording or not recording never done it so that'll be an exciting challenge for us both <laughs> all right dear ned well here i am at captain's cove amusement park about to try to figure out what's behind all the weird things that have been happening here lately Ooh. first a horse just disappeared <gasps> off the carousel one night oh. then a little later the carousel started spinning around all by itself in the dead of night as if it was haunted or something and then last week, the roller coaster suddenly stopped in mid-ride for no apparent reason. Oh. Nobody was seriously hurt, but the park was shut down until the city knows for sure what caused the accident. I forgot the time. I'm here because Paula Santos, the park's owner, is a friend of Dad's. She's putting me up at the Captain's Quarters Hotel, which is oh. next to the park. I'm cool. supposed to head over there right now and meet with a security guard named Harlan Bishop. I hope I don't let Paula down. Wish me luck. Ever yours, Nancy. Yes, there's a rumor going around that the oh. park is cursed. Creepy, huh? Okay, maybe this is a creepy mystery, you guys. <laughs> I hope not. Okay, I like this hotel room, though. This hotel room isn't creepy. It's actually really nice and light and bright in here. The music, though. Oh. Okay. That's, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> oh, look at Nancy's cell phone. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. I don't think I've ever seen a cell phone like this in the Nancy. Is this the only mystery that has a cell phone? Either I'm forgetting from childhood or this is a fr Like, this is so cool. What does it look like? Oh, okay, cool. It's like one of those... Um, Interesting, because this is this game came out, I think, in 2003, 4? Correct me if I'm wrong. 3 or 4. And this phone's a bit dated for the game. That I think that phone was more in style, you know, 1998? 99-ish? Hmm. 
I am not complaining though. You know I love old technology, so this is right up my alley. <laughs> and she's got the pen and paper in the background. Ooh, smart girl. Okay. All right, so we're at the Captain's Cove Hotel. It seems like everything's themed here. Everything's like Captain. <laughs> Look at this. Phony. <laughs> Instead of Sony. <laughs> Good one, her interactive. Good one. I'm impressed. Oh, we got a little, little bit of a hallway there. Oh, let's check out Nancy's clothing. Yes, queen. We got the mommy jeans. We got a beautiful looking uh, wine red a Merlot sweater. And a white button up here. Oh, and this is interesting. You guys see that label on the white shirt? Now, I think there's another game where you can see that more clearly because I can remember instead of saying it's got the same font as Gap, but I think it says instead C and D, which I always figured meant Carson Drew and they just threw the and in there to make it look like Gap, but I'm pretty sure that's the label. It's a little blurry in this mystery. It's kind of further back, but I'm pretty sure that says C and D, Carson Drew, <laughs> which is cool. I Again, her interactive. You guys are smart. Please hire me. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, so let's take a look here at our pantheon. Rolf Kessler. Oh, Rolf Kessler. Hmm. Nothing in New Jersey beats Captain's Cove Amusement Park. One of the first rides at the park was a carousel, or carousel, as Nancy likes to say, created by famed woodcarver Rolf Kessler. Completed in 1914, the carousel and its band organ are still operational. Oh. So I guess at this time, it'd be about 90 years, just shy of 90 years in operation. Pretty neat. Definitely would give it some credit. Uh, definitely, that fact right there would definitely feed into the idea that it's haunted. Because if you got 90 years of energy just going around and all those people in that... You're gonna capture some spirits there. <laughs> or their energy. Which would it would just be residual, not intelligent. So maybe we're okay. I sure hope it's all residual. The carousel and its band or blah blah blah. To this day, <laughs> carousel connoisseurs swear that riding one of the wild-eyed steeds that Kessler carved is an experience that borders on eerie. Oh. Oh, the plot thickens. Okay. Okay. So it's an eerie experience. I, we will have to figure out, maybe we'll have an opportunity to ride this thing. Anyways, Tidal Terror Roller Coaster. That looks, yep, yeah, very spooky. Big Giant Shark and the Demon of the Deep Haunted House. Okay, we're definitely going to be going to all these places for sure. Because my inner child wants to, like, hop on these rides. <laughs> Oh, this music scared me a little bit. It's it's good though. I like this soundtrack so far. Okay, I I know the desk is right there, the telephone, the all this good stuff. I ain't ignoring it. I'm just I'm just going around first. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> it's just asking to be clicked. But let's let's start here first. A room service menu. <gasps> all right. Oh yay! Like, uh, like our last mystery, uh, the curse of Blackmore Manor. Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder? I don't know if we're going to have those options, but. Hamburger platter. Ooh, accompanied by French fries, dinner salad, and your choice of soft drink. Well, that sounds really good. My mouth is starting to water. Pasta and veggie platter served with dinner salad, bread, and your choice of soft drink. Oh, wow. You know what? $8.29. That's a fabulous price for a full pasta. Oops. <laughs> for a full pasta, a salad, bread. So it's probably like a couple pieces. And your choice of soft drink. Oh, I love this. Let's read the description. It includes penne pasta. Okay, now I'm, now I'm seeing it. Penne pasta tossed with sliced mushrooms. Artichoke hearts, oh, sun-dried tomatoes, fresh sweet basil, a splash of cream, and topped with Asiago cheese. I need a napkin or something. <laughs> wow! So this doesn't, this, 
this isn't any old pasta and veggie platter. This is like a, like a uppity up. I mean, the artichoke hearts, the sun-dried tomatoes, the fresh basil. For $8.29? I'm still shook. That's amazing. And I bet you the, the burger's the same thing. This just ain't no frozen patty. <laughs> One third pound of fresh ground, all American, 100% pure beef. Okay. Served on a toasted, ooh, sesame seed bun with the works and double thick cheese. Double thick cheese. Oh, that should be thick with two seeds. Oh. <laughs> Garnished with a dill pickle spear and her homemade mustard sauce. Also sounds very good. I'm a plain Jane, so I don't know about the works. But I like that double thick cheese. Uh, desserts. Whew. Desserts. Captain's Cove Funday. Oh, okay. Si six layers. I repeat, six layers of sheer heaven. Served with your very own collectible souvenir spoon. Oh, I want that spoon. Oh, I want that spoon. We're, we're getting dessert. I know I'm going to spoil our dinner, but I want to get that, that Sunday. <laughs> or I want to get that spoon. <laughs> Maybe it's an Easter egg. Chocolate chip brownie. Oh, my favorite. Layered with ice cream. Oh, that's not the ice cream? Oh, my God. It's chocolate chip brownie. Layered with ice cream. Mm. Banana chunks. Nuts. Whipped cream. <sighs> Topped with triple thick hot fudge. Oh, my word. Okay. So we're definitely eating good here. I don't know what's better, eating in Blackmore Manor or eating at the Captain's Cove uh, Hotel. I guess we'll we'll find out when I actually see the product. But <laughs> for right now, oh, what are those prices? Okay, the Sunday's a little expensive. Unless it's, yeah, again, we haven't seen it. It could be pretty big. Grandma Poseidon's sweet treats. Oh, I want to see that. I want to see what that's all about. What's Grandma serving? <laughs> and what does it say? Stugal Stugables St What? Gables I, I see Gables But what the heck is this word? Swig Oh, Swigables <laughs> Okay That's creative I like that Swigables Definitely goes with the The uh, captain's You know, pirate theme I love it Soft drink 65 cents great price milk oh even greater orange just a dollar cocoa hot or cold very nice i love this i would be i would definitely stay here if i could is there anything up there no it's just the one thing okay we got our sun uh, sunscreen at the ready all right now we will head to the desk let's see here Ooh, look at this laptop very old i wish i had this laptop oh Oh, look at this, guys. Okay. Check in with P. Santos. So, pardon me. Oh. It seems like, because <laughs> I was starting to wonder, you know, like usually there's a pocket watch here or a journal somewhere, you know, and that, and journal or things to do. And it's not here. So, I guess we're going to have to come back to our hotel room to do this. So, we're going to be visiting. Oh, and there's a maritime flag game. Oh, I'm going to kick that game, but eventually. Uh, inbox. No outgoing mail service. Dear valued customer. Outgoing mail service has been temporarily halted. Oh, we expect that service restored within 24 hours. Okay. Probably where we will get an email from either Bash, George, both, or the Hardy Boys, or Ned, or Carson, Mr. Mr. Drew. Or Hannah. Hannah might email us. We do have a welcome Nancy, though. Thank you for your subscription to Sassy Detective Online. Oh, where do I apply? Where, what? I want to join this website. <laughs> Check your inbox often. Tips will be arriving almost as fast as you can read them. Okay, cool. Oh, basically it's saying, in other words, this is where you're going to get your tips. Good to know. Duly noted. Play game journal. There must not be anything in there. A friend of my father's, Paula Santos, wants me to figure out what's behind all the strange things that have been happening at our amusement park in Captain's Cove, New Jersey. Well, we're gonna do that. Keep checking email. Oh, can I not check them off myself? Haven't done that. Still haven't done that yet. 
I, I can't even hear that. Okay. Maybe it'll automatically check off. <gasps> Does anyone know if that's like it will it automatic Okay, let's let's test it right now because one of the things is to check in with Peace Santos. Okay. All right, Paula. Oh, there's the Hardy Boys. Home Bess Paula. Let's see here. Maybe Paula it'll automatic. Santos. Hello, Miss Santos. It's Nancy Drew. Hello. Have you been out to the park? No, not yet. I thought I'd check in with you first. You're all set. I told the guard at the main gate to keep an eye out for you. His name's Harlan Bishop. All the rides are shut down except for the carousel. <gasps> I thought you might need to see it in action. But please, take a good look at the roller coaster even if you can't ride it. Okay. So maybe there's more haunted rides around here. Uh, what did the police find when they looked at it? Yeah. What did the police yeah, yeah, yeah. find when they looked at it? They looked around for five minutes, then left. Said as long as the insurance company was going to investigate, why should they? Hmm. Interesting. Not very helpful. <laughs> uh, so I can get into the park through the main gates? So I can get into the park through the main gate? Harlan will be watching for you. Bless. Oh, and from now on... Call me, Paula. All right. Aww. Goodbye, Paula. Bye, Paula. <laughs> One thing I do like as well is how the old phones, side note, I know, uh, <laughs> the old phones have the phone number for the phone right on it. Like, that's 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 probably Nancy's number. Like, if someone, if she lost his phone, someone, oh, that really wouldn't make much sense. Unless that's a backup number for another phone. I don't know. I just assume that's the number for the phone. Because then it sounds like, what's your number? You just go, oh, 555-222, uh, five, 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 two, 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 you know. <laughs> but anyways. Oh, so let's see if that automatically... Ah, okay. All right. So it's an automatic checker, this mystery. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Less clicking. Can we use this phone? Oh, for room service. Hotel operator, what do you want? Are you the room oh, operator? What do you want? I'm filling in for my cousin Amber. She took the week off on account of the amusement park being <laughs> shut down. You don't want an outside line, do you? Actually, do I have ya? a cell phone. Good, use it. An outside <laughs> line will cost you an arm and a leg. Besides, I'm not sure how to get you one. So, Miss Aaron, what Aaron. do you want? Uh, that's Drew. Nancy Sorry, Drew. Sorry, I'm trying to see it. Sorry, my cousin's handwriting there reeks. So, what do you want, Miss Drew? Don't want to get the glare of my glasses. I'm liking this girl's accent. We are definitely in New Jersey. These are the Joyzy girls. What do you want, Miss Drew? <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Should we eat before we go? Of course we should. Of course we should. I want that pasta. The uh, pasta and veggie platter. I'd like to order the pasta and veggie platter with orange juice instead of a soft drink, please. Health matter. Well, whatever. Anything <laughs> else? <laughs> That's it. Thanks a lot. Uh, yeah, sure. Whatever. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Oh. Oh. Room service? Oh, they didn't stay or nothing. <gasps> okay, that pasta salad. Oh, that looks. That actually. Oh. Mm. That's a fairly sized bun, too. Dinner salad. Orange juice. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm, 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 mm hmm. Okay. Very good. Now, now that we've eaten, let's. Uh, let's explore. Oh, let's go to the bathroom first. Can we do that? Oh, we can iron our clothes. I need to turn the iron on. Oh. Oh, I have a very sneaking suspicion that we're going to need that for a clue or something. Listen, if that's the shower, where's the toilet? <laughs> all right. All right. Let's uh let's get out. Oh, here we are. Captain Scova Music Will park. the young lady who just entered the park please turn immediately and enter the whale's mouth directly to her left? Thank you. <laughs> Do you know who he sounds like? And this is such a funny coincidence or correlation because he's the security guard. But he sounds like Dewey from Scream. Does he not? 
Right away, I got Dewey vibes. Not just the voice, but the things he was saying too, his narrative. Would the lady who just entered the park please turn immediately and enter the whale's mouth directly to her left? Thank you. <laughs> like, it's just so... Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Hello, <gasps> this is Paula Santos. I'm standing outside what's left of the captain's quarters hotel. What oh! Well, according to the fire marshal, someone left an iron on in your room. <laughs> Got to turn it off. When I asked you to come out here, uh, I expected to pay for your room, uh, not the entire hotel. Consider yourself off the case. Oh dear. So we're already. <laughs> Oopsie. We're already. Uh, we're already causing havoc here. Okay, so we're just not gonna touch that. It is off, right? Is it off? That's what I want to know. Okay, I think it's off. I think I think we're good to go here. Will the young lady oh. who has entered the park please I've heard this before. <laughs> and enter the whale's mouth directly to her left. left. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Hello. This is What? I should, what? I'm standing outside what's left of the captain's quarters hotel. <laughs> what happened? Well, according to the fire marshal, someone left an iron on I in the thought... room and burned the place down. Oh, okay, no. so if it's I up, to turn it off. When I if it's up, out it's out here, on. I okay. To pay for your room, not okay. the entire hotel. <laughs> Consider yourself off the case. <sighs> okay. This time, let's check. Is it up or down? It's up, so we'll do that. I need to turn the iron on. Good. Now we know. Now we know. Okay. I should have known if that was an option that there would be. Will From the young lady, lady who just, just entered, entered the park, park please turn immediately and, and enter the whale's mouth, mouth directly, directly to her left. left. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> no ring a ring ring. Good. Hey, hello. Well, from the way you just marched right on in here past all those sorry we're closed signs, you're either who I think you are or you're one determined gate crasher. <laughs> See what I mean? Dewey. This is so Dewey. Oh, I love it. I'm going to start calling him Dewey. If you think I'm Nancy Drew, you're right. You must be Harlan. Paula Santos said you'd be expecting me. Ah. You must be Harlan. Paula Santos said you'd be expecting me. Which means you must be Nancy Drew, famous teen detective. I mean, that that's her. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> pardon me. Substitute the word amateur for famous. Substitute and... the word amateur for famous. Uh, uh, and yes, uh. that's me. I don't know. Miss Santos seems to have a lot of faith in you. Apparently Aww. more than she does in... Some people around here. Well, we're going to learn who those some people are. Maybe you're one of those some people. She's afraid the police aren't giving this case very high priority. Somebody like swiped a the horse off a carousel and now it's malfunctioning. The police don't think it's that big a deal and frankly, neither do I. Really? Hmm. That doesn't concern you at all? That something you're supposed to be protecting has been swiped. Because I'm pretty sure it's the only security detail here. Hmm. So you think the carousel starts up by itself because some wires got damaged? Makes sense to me. Of course, oh. I'm no expert. And in good swears, she can't find anything wrong with the carousel's electrical system. But hmm. then, I kind of think she doesn't want to. Hmm. Sorry, I just saw that <laughs> on the whiteboard over his right shoulder. Do you guys see that drawing of the coffee? It's this coffee mule or something. I think it's his coffee mule. <laughs> we'll check it out after. Oh, I get distracted so easily. So this Ingrid. Ingrid says there's no electrical issues, no wiring issues. Hmm, interesting. She must be the mechanic or something. Uh... I mean, it is a 90-year-old carousel, so it's very plausible that it's just a an issue with it, but, I mean, I'll have to do more digging Who's to figure Ingrid? that out. Ingrid Corey. You'll probably meet her. She's working during the shutdown, too. She's the park's chief engineer. Hmm. Believes in all this wacky, new-age, psychobiogenic stuff. Like if you eat food served by a waiter who's in a bad mood, you'll get scurvy or something. <laughs> <laughs> psychobiogenic. 
Hmm, okay. I could see how that's maybe more of a spiritual thing, like energies and stuff. I, I'm very in tune, and it sounds like... <laughs> he doesn't know much. New Age Psychobiogenic. It just sounds like what he's, what he's, what he's trying to say is like, if the man who served you is in a is angry, he might transfer some of that energy into your food, and when you eat, you're like, oh, I'm a little frustrated, you know? <laughs> Could make some sense. He doesn't understand it, though, according to his narrative. <laughs> Where can I find her? First things first. You won't be meeting her or Elliot Chen, the park's art director, until after you go see the park's bookkeeper, Joy Trent. Miss Santos' okay. orders. Joy pays all the bills, so she knows pretty much everything that's going on. Hmm. Plus, she'll give you an access card. Miss Santos wants you to have the run of the place. Oh, bless her heart. I'm really happy for that. Oh, I gotta watch out. My footrest is pulling on my LED light cord. If that comes crashing down... <laughs> watch out. Uh, yes. I guess I'll go meet Joy. Then I guess I'll go meet Joy. Wait, hang on. I know Joy won't give you one of these, so I will. Here you go. It's a Captain's Cove fun card. Oh. Let you ride the rides and play the games oh. on the midway. <laughs> so sweet. Come back to me if you burn through that one and need another. Oh, thanks, Harlan. Oh, I like him so far. Other than other than disregarding the incident, he said he doesn't really care that a horse has been stolen and stuff. So it's a little sus, but thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, Why wouldn't Joy give me one of these? Yeah. Well, see, Joy's just kind of joyless. It oh. never occurred to her that you might want to have some fun while you're here. Of course, she's a newbie too, like me. Uh -huh. Maybe she'll come around. Anyway, hmm. here's a map of the park. Oh, I thank you. I put an you. X where Joy's office is. Fabulous. Aren't you just so helpful? Okay. Okay, he's growing on me. He's growing on me real quick. I could see why now he doesn't really give a damn about the carousel you know he's just he's just here at his job and and he takes that jurisdiction seriously but not the stuff he's protecting <laughs> what did you mean when you said you were a newbie i've only worked here for a couple of weeks i figured staying oh. on while the park was closed would help me get uh, up to speed on all the equipment and such smart smart man very smart man hmm interesting though your fresh meat did you have a motive for working here and with the park being closed would that also give you more extra close time personal one-on-one -on -one time with the carousel and all the horsies on board Ooh, back to my sus list yep mm-hmm mm -hmm. oh i see you have a security camera trained on the carousel does that mean you got the i see you have a security camera trained on the carousel does that mean you got carousel. the theft of that carousel horse on tape we didn't start monitoring the carousel until after the theft. Uh, but we do have one of those so-called hauntings on tape. Want to see it? <gasps> yes! That'd be great! I got the tape right oh! here all queued up. I played it for the police. Like I said before, they weren't real impressed. So you, so you do have a camera on the, on the carousel? Oh, this must have There's no after. sound. On the tape, at least. The band organ started up when the carousel did. Stayed on for about 30 seconds, then stopped. Whoa! This looks like it's late at night, too. Huh. Did you notice that burst of static just before the carousel turned on? And tried to push? Oh, I didn't see that. Did you notice that burst of static just before the carousel started to turn? Uh -uh. Probably just a glitch in the tape. We use them over and over. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Maybe that's altered or been messed with a little bit. Hmm. May I see that tape of the carousel haunting again? Yeah. I got the tape right here, all queued up. <laughs> oh, maybe she means... Oh, okay. She means the, uh, the actual VHS going <coughs> before it starts. I thought she saw a spark or something, maybe, or... Hmm. Where did you work before you came here? Oh, I worked in a store department store you know as a security guard in Flemington not around here that seemed a little sus didn't it I'll see you around I'm not Have sure fun. I'm not sure I like your tone but thank you for everything 
Because now we can go to the arcades and go on the rides. Oh, this music's creepy. Please keep all personal belongings in your lockers. Nancy Drew, visit today. <laughs> uh, give fun pass. Grant fun pass. Map of Park, send a joy. Coppets Co. Police Department. The phone number for the police. Ah. That might come in handy. Yeah, let's get that written down. Well, it would be rude to use my phone now. It would. I wish people were as observant and like conscious of their surroundings as Nancy Drew. You don't hear that anymore. It would be rude to use my phone now. You never hear that from anybody anymore. People pull out their phones left, right, and center. They don't care if you're talking or if you're. No, that's really sweet. I wish pe more people were like Nancy in that way. Anyways, I'm sure she probably took that number down. Oh, coffee rules. I thought it said coffee mule. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. Ooh, nothing there. No smoking. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> All right, let's check out this corner. This has really caught my eye. Oh, Nelly. Nothing. Nothing for us here, I guess. All right. All right. And of course, oh. Huh. What's that all about? I'm sure that'll become our problem soon. <laughs> Harlan, Eddie, Evie. Eric? Oh, Eric. Oh, okay, I see. Please don't open that. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Please don't open that. <laughs> Sorry. That habit. <laughs> yes. You're not the only one, Nancy. <laughs> okay, so Harlan. So they want it marked with an X. Ah, here we go. Okay. Lil, I can't read that. Little, little curry, <laughs> little, little something. Little guppy, little guppy playground, ah, oh, or play pond. Little guppy play pond, oh. I kind of want to go to this this park in real life. Ahoy, mateys! Oh, here we are. Ooh, this has got a much darker vibe. It's creepy. I'm sure it smells a little musky in here. Let's look at everything first. The original Sheldon Rousseau Galaxy Ballroom. Hmm. The haunted house used to be a ballroom. How's that for irony? <laughs> huh. Converting the ballroom 1961 to 62. No haunted house. Wow! So it used to be a ballroom and then... Oh. Haunted house upon completion. Summer... 1962. Interesting. Interesting. I wish they'd show the inside. Oh, I guess we'll go see that eventually. Uh, oh. This is cool. Sheldon Rousseau's Galaxy Ballroom and Carousel. Oh, neat. Very neat. Okay. All right. Moving right along here. Can't get in that desk. Can't go over there. Oh, what's this? Victim of coaster accident. Oh, files million dollar lawsuit against Park. Cheapers. Lance Huffington, 37, is suing the Captain's Cove Amusement Park for $1 million as a result of neck injuries he's allegedly suffered while riding the roller coaster at the park last week. Huffington, a salesperson at Mady's pre-owned car company. This whole town is just, uh, it's just nautical themed, eh? <laughs> was a passenger on the Tidal Terror roller coaster when it suddenly lost power, slid backwards, and suddenly stopped. He claims that the sudden stop caused his head to snap backwards, oof, then forwards, and this, uh, and that this whiplash effect caused severe trauma to soft tissue in his neck. Yikes. The lawsuit seeks compensation for medical costs, pain, and suffering, and emotional distress. Police say that no injuries, including Huffington's, were reported at the time of the accident. Oh. Huffington alleges that it's not uncommon for whiplash victims to be unaware of their injuries until... That is true. That is true. The next day, that's when it hit me. I woke up and couldn't move. The pain was so bad, said Huffington. It's still bad, and the doctors say I may have to wear this neck brace 
for the rest of my life. I'm not trying to soak anybody, I just want what's fair. The owner of the park, Paula Santos, declined to comment on the lawsuit. The park was closed immediately after the accident to allow a thorough inspection of the roller coaster. The cause of the accident... So they got all kinds of issues. I mean, there's a, a horse being stolen. This guy's claiming to have hurt his neck, which... Eh, eh, but all of that was enough to shut the park down, so... Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Nothing going on there. Oh, that's her credentials. Hi, I can run this. I'm certified. <laughs> it's the details. I just, I love her interactive. Ooh, blast off in the night rocket. Only at Captain's Cove. Interesting. Come on, hopefully we can ride that one too. This hmm, looks... maybe I should give Detective Paris a call. July 11th, 1983. Oh, there's some pearls in this guy's hand. Mike DeSalle holds the jewelry he found hidden in the padding of the orbiter. According to Detective K.J. Paris, more hidden valuables could turn up in the park. Wow. Park goer finds hidden treasure at Captain's Cove. This is interesting. Hidden jewels? Maybe that's what whoever stole that carousel horse was after. Jewels from that heist. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, let's quickly scroll, scroll through this. Since Nancy's so fast at reading. <laughs> Dilly, oh, stop this. <laughs> Look at the author by Dilly Dally. <laughs> I like that, Dilly Dally. Well, Dilly Dally says, <laughs> the orbiter turned into Mike DeSalle's favorite amusement park ride yesterday when he found close to $50,000 worth of jewelry hidden in the padding that lines the wow, the ride's back sh backrests. I felt something sharp when I strapped, excuse me, Peg. Piggy wiggy wig. When I strapped in, said 19 year old DeSalle, by the time the ride was over, I thought for sure whatever it was had totally sh stuck itself into my shoulder. Assuming someone had placed rocks in the padding as a joke, DeSalle examined the backrest, found a small slit at its top edge, and through it managed to pull out the offending objects. Three necklaces, a pearl necklace, and two jewel-studded gold bracelets. Oh my gosh! I knew they were real right away, he said. Fakes don't just sparkle like that. You're 19. He, he turned his... <laughs> he turned his find over to the police who quickly discovered that the jewelry was indeed real. It had been among the items stolen when a thief broke into the safe at the Captain's Quarters Hotel three years ago. Despite the fact the man suspected of theft is currently serving time in the state penitentiary for unrelated crime, none of the stolen items have been found until yesterday. Huh. The man in charge of the investigation three years ago, veteran police detective K.J. Paris, who we gon' call, recalls that the thief made his getaway by running through the park. Paris now suspects that the pers the reason the loot has never turned up is because the thief stashed the jewelry in various places throughout the park. <gasps> Are we on a treasure hunt? Is that what this is going to turn into? <clears throat> uh, that Ila could return for it days, months, even years later. Wow. Well, until they do like a safety check or some inspection on the on the roller coaster. For his honesty, DeSalle received a two thousand dollar reward. Oh, well that's that's nice. From in nineteen eighty five, that's really nice. He could buy a new car. Or something. <laughs> uh from Warwick Insurance Company and a lifetime certif certificate for a room at the Okay, that's nice. That's really nice. A lifetime room? I would just live at the hotel. And the two thousand dollars, it's squirrel that away and just try to like live there, you know, or use it for for food and drinks and stuff. Some pretty valuable stuff could still be hidden in the park, Paris said. But before people start tearing up the rides looking for it, they should be advised that I'll be watching. <laughs> well, he ain't watching now. It's about what twenty years later, <laughs> just about nineteen years later. Interesting. That lucky man right there, Mike DeSalle. You know what? I just live in that hotel, take the two grand, and just 
live it out for a while. Get a job. <gasps> oh, his life is made. I'd stay at the hotel, take the 2000 to start me off for a couple months, you know, food, drinks, whatever. Get a job locally, save up all that chang, and you basically could live there. You'd probably make your two grand back in like a six month period in 1985 and just lit like they just gave him a life right there oh oh i'd be so grateful i guess he's 19 though he's not probably doesn't know what gratitude is yet the world's greatest <clears throat> the world pardon me the world's greatest beachfront ballroom oh it's a beachfront one too interesting Dances, concerts, featuring conductor Shaw Bids and the Nouveau Jersey Shoreline. Okay. These characters here, these drawings. We haven't played it yet, but there's a game called Nancy Drew. Another mystery. Uh, Nancy Drew, Danger by Design. Where we go to France, Paris. Or Paris, France. And we're working for someone who's a fashion designer. There's certain drawings we will see eventually. I bet you it's the same illustrator, because this artwork, it looks like the same artwork. Design, anyways, the same kind of drawing style and technique. Especially this floof along the bottom. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the same uh, illustrator or digital designer. Uh, hmm. I would like to see this ballroom before it was a haunted house. Something's under there. Okay, if I peek in here, go ahead and look around. Yay! Excuse all the clutter. I'm still trying to get this place organized. Oh, she's so sweet and cute. You know, like small little voice. <laughs> she's cute. What's this? To Martin Glazier Art Department from Milton Fowler. What is all this? Has agreed to sell the horse named. Hmm. Looks like stenography. It's a memo about one of the carousel horses being sold. I wonder which horse. Oh. Named something. So we're going to have to figure out what that means right there. That little bit. Squiggle. Stenography. This seems like... It just seems like gibberish. Look at all this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Please find, like that little squig is the whole word please? Oh boy. This might be uh, more, I think I spoke too soon when I said this was a bit of an easier mystery or a more straightforward uh, fun mystery. <laughs> Scary to be determined, but it might be a little harder than we thought. Okay, I'm gonna take that. And uh, still can't look under there, okay. Let's talk to this lady here now. I'm going to take the other way around. <laughs> yes. Hello. Are you Nancy? Aw. Yes, I am. You're Joy? Joy Trent. Sorry about the Aww. mess. So, I'm supposed to give you an access card. Oh. Um, no, no. Uh, I think we have it. Oh, no, we got the fun pass. <laughs> I like her name. Joy Trent. <clears throat> the thing is, though. Now, I love this outfit. Don't get me wrong. I love the blazer. I love this um, this blouse underneath. It, and it goes so nicely with that t-shirt. Or whatever the heck. However, however, with this collar, she's missing a, a, a wonderful opportunity. <laughs> this right here. She looked great with an ascot, don't you think? I don't know what color, though. What color would go good with that? Well, maybe this one I got on right now. I just toss it to her. But I'm just saying, that neck right there, this is this whole centerpiece for an ascot. She needs an ascot. Someone get Joy Trent an ascot ASAP. It would really just pull together the whole look. <laughs> oh, interesting, her <laughs> I think she... <laughs> She might have made this blouse herself because if you take a quick look here, just kind of evaluate this this blanket over her right hand shoulder covering the mysterious object. It looks about the same material, doesn't it? Color's a bit off. It could be the lighting. It's in the dark, but she might have made this blouse herself. Is there a question about her? <laughs> uh, 
Oh, so joy about your blouse. <laughs> no. All right. No hurry. If you're in the middle of something, please go ahead and finish up. Yeah, That's yeah. okay. I just assume get this little farce over. Oh. What do you mean? What do you mean? You're only here because it makes it look like Paula Santos had nothing to do with any of this curse garbage. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Are you saying she did have something to do with it? Yeah. I've seen how Paula runs the park. All she wants is to get more and more people through that gate. And what better way to do that than with a carousel that's allegedly haunted? Hmm. She makes a valid point. Joy Trent is also smart Trent. Because <laughs> that's, that's a very good point. She could be doing this herself. And if there's reports of jewelry being hidden in the rides, valuable jewelry at that, wouldn't you want to go visit the park and see if you could find some $50,000 pearls or, you know, $75,000 bracelets and stuff? I mean, that was just a ballpark number there. They didn't mention anything about it. I think they, they mentioned the total of all the jewelry was about fifty grand. Uh... <clears throat> But why would she sabotage? Yeah. But why would she sabotage the roller coaster? She can't make any money with a park shut down. She probably just didn't know the park would be shut down. Hmm. But then why bring Nancy out? You know why? Why? Why bring a detective out all the way from River Heights? <laughs> um. Is Miss Santos aware of the way you feel about her? Of course not. I don't want to get fired. Besides, nobody's been Aww. hurt, except that glorified con artist who claims his neck got injured, Lance Huffington. And the truth is, Paula offered me this job because she knew I needed the money, and I'm not Aww. entirely ungrateful. My father died recently. His estate is in bankruptcy. He used to be co-owner of the park. Two Aww. years ago, he suffered a huge financial setback, and he had to sell his share to Paula. When he died two months ago, he was flat broke. Paula oh. could have bailed him out, but she didn't. Frankly, I think the reason she hired me was guilt. Interesting. Okay, alright, okay. So you guys see what I'm seeing now? I don't know if y'all are seeing what I'm seeing. So, her suspicion of Paula, which is valid. You know, it's a valid reason to think um, that the park owner is the one behind it because it brings in more customers, right? They hear jewelry, hidden, you know, theft, this and that, then they want to they wanna know more, right? And this is before the time of social media. So they didn't just lazily look on their phone, you know, Captain Cove uh, robbery while they're laying in bed. Oh my God. And then after 20 minutes of videos, they just assume they, they know the whole story. They don't even go visit. And then next week they forget the name of the park altogether. <laughs> but yeah, this is a time where, you know, if you heard a tidbit on the television, you had to run into the other room to see, okay, I wanted to hear about this. What's this all about? And if you didn't, then you just went to the park, right? You go out of the park and, and see what you could hear or ask staff, or you actually had to ask questions. You had to do stuff. So it does make sense that the park owner might sabotage themselves in order to get more money, more revenue. But Joy makes, or Nancy makes a good point that if the ride was purposely rigged or whatever then that that affects her as a park owner because now she's got to shut down a ride and if that ride's not available if it's a popular one then who's going to come anyways you know hmm but it does sound like joy may have thought that instinctually right away as a projection of her own feelings you know what i'm saying because it sounds here that her father died you know as she said her father died flat broke he was co-owner of this park. So, and then, of course, his daughter then gets on board and works for both of them. And it sounds like she's just got a resentment against Paula because Paula, and right here actually, didn't bail him out. She could have, but she didn't. Hmm. Yeah, that does sound like a, a bit of a messy situation. It does seem like Joy's got her suspicions at the wrong park. <laughs> I don't think it's, but then that leads me to believe that maybe Joy, no, I, I, I'm not really sus of this one. I know it would seem like the perfect, <clears throat> the, 
the perfect person to be suspicious of because, you know, she's sweet, innocent. Her voice is just, you could fall in love with her instantly. This, uh, you know, she's just great. And uh, so you would think someone like that is perfect as a suspect, or you wouldn't think, which would make them then the number one suspect, right? The people that are most unlikely. Um, but I don't know. I feel like her being sus. I think a bug just hit the window. <laughs> Dang, that was loud. That's what a big bug. Uh, <laughs> and I got my headphones on too. Damn. Um, but no, I, 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 oh, squirrel. Brain train. Come on, brain train. Bring the train back to the station. Yeah, I don't, okay, there it is. I don't think she's guilty or sus right now. Very low sus because she first accused her man, her boss, the co, which again could be a projection. But if that was her first instinct to go with a projection, she felt that strongly to lash out at her privately. Of course, she'd get fired if she said anything. That leads me to believe that she's a decent person and she's not, her first instinct was emotional rather than practical and yeah, I don't think I I don't think there's too much to risk for her if she did do it. That'd be way too risky. She'd lose her job. She'd yeah. I I don't know. I'm not sus of her. She hasn't given me at least. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments if you see if you have a different perception. Like maybe you're seeing something I'm not. But if you did, if you do, drop a line. I'm curious because as of right now, I don't think she's given me enough to for me to lead oh, for her to lead me to think that she's suspicious i don't think so uh right um i'm supposed to get an access card oh <laughs> just ignore everything be all that as it may i still like to talk to some of the employees be that as it may i'd still like to talk to some of the other employees of course but before i forget here's your access card oh. that should get you into all the private areas of the park but if you run into problems, don't come to me. Ask the chief engineer, Ingrid Corey. Her oh, office okay. is by the haunted house. The only oh. other people in the park right now are Harlan Bishop and the art director, Elliot Chin. His studio is right by the treasure chest souvenir shop. But try not to bug him. Okay. Listen. We're not going to bug too many people. We are probably going to be on the carousel. <laughs> Go for a ride. <clears throat> Oh, does he not like to be disturbed? Well, he's an artist, I guess. Oh, is he? Why? Is he temperamental? He's behind in his work and needs to catch up. Ms. Santos has been getting on my case about it. Well, I think you have everything, so if you'll excuse me. Oh, right. Uh, thanks for all your help. Uh, sorry if I disturbed you. Uh, she's a sweetheart. You can tell, too. You see how she grabs her shoulder? That's kind of like a... Um... <clears throat> like an anxiety based uh reaction you know she's a little nervous a little shy a little timid so i don't know i don't think she's i'm not to say that she's not capable of doing something like that i'm sure she could shock us all but yeah i don't really think i don't really think she's the one okay so where do we go first oh my gosh options 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 so do we go to the broken down roller coaster do we go play some games do we check out the haunted carousel? Or do we go to the haunted ha Ooh. Yeah, haunted house. Oh, that's creepy. <gasps> oh! That scared me, but you know what? That's familiar. Isn't that the scream from Curse of Blackmore Manor? Literally. I think that one is too. Oh, I would be scared even just approaching this building. But this used to be the ballroom, apparently. Okay. Yeah, I'm hearing it. That's <laughs> oh, oh, I'm having PTSD from Curse of Blackboard Manor. Ah! <laughs> I wonder if there's any pop-ups in this in uh, this mystery. I don't remember. Oh, I don't have access. Oh. Well, that it's locked. Sucks. Okay. Well, let's go to the carousel then. This takes a fun pass. Oh, right. Okay, so maybe there's another way in. Look at this park. There's two Ferris wheels? Whoa, y'all got two Ferris wheels? 
No high heels. We have restored the floor and the carousel to its original condition. No high heels, spurs, or peg legs, please. <laughs> peg legs. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Here we are. We got zebras, seahorses. Uh huh. Uh huh. Geez, some of these even have teeth. Moon glow. Oh, they've got names too. Names and teeth and. Oh, look at this. <gasps> look at this. Oh my gosh. Wow. They really, really wasted no time just getting this up out of here and carrying on. They even, like, clean it up or nothing. I mean, at least if this was all somewhere hidden, all this dirt and debris and the, the hardware, it'd be a little less suspicious, you know? Maybe give them a week to run or I don't know. Interesting. I really like the details on these horses. The carousel was created by Rolf Kessler, 1914. Oh. oh! Oh, the plot thickens. Oh, I don't have access to anything. What's the point of this access card if I can't get anywhere? <laughs> like, really? Oh, dear. Okay. I may need another... Oh, look at Lancer. I have a strong feeling that's going to become a hint or a part of a puzzle later on. Okay, I can't go any further. So, uh... A free ride to holder of brass ring. <gasps> oh, I am s starlight! Aww! Oh, I like this! Look at the zebra, though! This zebra is having the time of his life. <clears throat> he looks like he's laughing. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny zebra. Okay. All right. Well, we can't check out the other horsies. It looks like just the one. Um, can we ride the carousel? Let's go for a spin the carousel. Oh. By the way, you have four fun <laughs> credits left on your card. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> you have four credits left on your card. Enjoy. <laughs> the carousel will be starting in three seconds. So oh, hang on tight. Three Don't seconds. To try for the brass ring. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Woo. <laughs> Woo. Where is it? <laughs> I'm so nervous. Here comes the brass ring. Oh, get, get it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. You're Damn. Zero? I fell off the carousel. I was trying to grab the brass ring and reach too far. You were what? It's kind of a long story. Uh oh, I have to hang up now. They oh. want to x-ray my head. <laughs> they want to x-ray my, my head. head too. What was I thinking asking you to play detective? Oh. I know what I'm thinking now. You're off the case. Shoot. So, first episode alone. We have already. Will be we've already seconds. messed so up three tight. times. And don't forget okay. to try for the brass ring. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Get up. <laughs> okay. So maybe wait till it's a little bit closer. Here comes the brass ring. Get ready. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, we got it. Yay! Can I get another one? Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Here it comes again. Oh! Uh, oh, I missed it. Maybe you can only have one. What if I want another brass ring? <coughs> that would be two free rides. Yay! Oh, so we rode on Moonlight, I guess. Well, that was fun. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know who is operating that, but... Okay, so we've discovered we can't really use this access card to get anywhere. We're not getting access to anywhere with the access card. That's hilarious. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> Look at Look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. Fix that face. Fix that face. Look at that. He looks pretty mad. Fix that face. All right. 
Uh oh. I wonder what the deal is with this red tag. Oh, something's broken. And well, well, well. Is this our first puzzle? I think it is. I call service to request upgrade for card reader. Below is a schematic for the circuit as it currently stands. The resistors are in parallel. Waiting for delivery of macro resistor. Chromeister called and said that the total resistance for the upgrade has to be 15 ohms. They said the macro resistor will give 5 ohms. Oh, pardon me. Of resistance. So whoever's hooking up the thing should the thing should hook the resistors in series. Is this something I can play with? Oh. Well. Oh, we can't. Oh, okay. Well, eventually, eventually I think this will be our first puzzle. Unless we come across another puzzle in the meantime. It's locked. It's locked. Uh, okay. Well, then I guess <laughs> we're going in there. Uh, okay. Oh, we can play some games. Uh-oh. Looks like it's uh, out of order. Aw. I want to play Barnacle Blast. <gasps> what about this one? What's this if called? If I play this Squid game, toss! I can win an anchor. Oh, I can win an anchor? Oh, let's get an anchor. We want the anchor. Lucky you. You're about to play Squid Toss. <laughs> By the way, you have three fun credits left on your card. Oh. Catapult the squid through the hoop. Okay. How do I do this? Oh, okay. Okay, little to the left. Uh, hmm. Power. Shrimp. Trout, fish fry. Fish fry is probably like eh. shrimp is probably what we need. Trout might be too much. It's pretty close to us. Yeah, shrimp. Let's let's try shrimp. Oh, hey, we got it. We got it. Okay, okay. Let's go this way and. Okay, so this one was shrimp and it was up here. That This one's a little bit back, so that would be probably trout. And this one's a step back from that. So let's do dolphin. Let's do dolphin. Oh! Oh! Too far to the right. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Ah. Oh. Who needs to actually go to a theme park when you could just come to Captain's Time Cove to with Nancy Drew. Toss. In case you were wondering, you have two fun credits oh, left yeah. on your card. Catapult the squid through the hoop. Shoot. We're going to have to go back for another card. Okay, so this one was shrimp. <gasps> Yay! Okay. And this one, I went too far, I guess. So let's do dolphin and go. All right. Oh, this one is higher up. Okay. Let's give this one some whale power. Ooh, yay! Oh, oh, yeah. We got ourselves an anchor. We got ourselves an anchor. I thought it was going to be an actual anchor. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> I wanted like a toy anchor. But this... Anchor token has striked my curiosity. Because what can we use it for? What what can I get with that? Hmm. Okay, on to the next game. <laughs> Even though I've got, I think, one... Wait, how do we play this? Oh, okay. Alright. We call this game Swimmer's Itch. Arr, By the way, you swimmer's have one itch. fun credit left on your card. Oh. Your mission is to get the swimmer to the beach. Okay. Oh, get the swimmer to the beach before the hurricane hits. Move the swimmer from right to left by clicking on the swim. Ah, oh, we're out of time. Okay, we'll play this and then we'll say goodbye. And we have to find a spot to our our safe safe house. Or oh, we'll go to the hotel. Yeah. Okay, move the swimmer from right to left by clicking on the swimmer or on the obstacles in the swimmer's way. Not sure. I know. Oh, vertical objects move up and down. Horizontal objects. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right. Oh boy. But keep an eye on the weather forecast to the right. If you don't reach the beach by the time the forecast is hurricane, you lose. Win all three levels, and you get a. S There's three levels. Oh boy. Okay. Makes sense. 
Select difficulty. Jeez. There's no easy, so let's go with medium. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. I'm a pro at these games. Th these are my favorite puzzles right here. <gasps> Partly cloudy? Oh no. Go on, girl. Oh, 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 oh. oh she is surrounded by sharks now. Okay, okay. Well, let's get this out of the way. Oh no. Oh no. Let's get her moving on up here. And we'll move all that back. Ah! Go, go, go! Okay. Oh, it's perfect day. Okay. So far, so good. I thought it was going to keep going with the temperature. Maybe that's the hard level. I'm thinking. Oh, dear. There you go, girlfriend. Woo! What do I win? <laughs> My seagull voice. I'm good at a seagull. <clears throat> ah, ah, ah. Well, that's more like a crow. I'm good at crow. I can speak crow, but not seagull. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> that's the seagull's uh, foreign cousin, you know, from across the way. Okay, so we got... So, so far I got a seahorse token, and an anchor token. What else can we win? Oh, this is, this one's got a clam token. <gasps> I hope they fix it while we're here. Oops. Can we play those games? No. Same games. Oh, when we get to pick a prize. <gasps> okay. So we can't get, we can't get the anchor. We can't use it singularly. But, if we get a mermaid token and a clam token, we can get a harmonica. Or we can buy one of these things. Hmm. Well, I hope they fix that machine, because how am I going to get a clam token? Oh, and you can win the mermaid token, too, by the looks of it down below. Ah, okay. Okay. Well, back to the hotel. Alright. Ah, oh, I just want to jump in that bed and order some food. <laughs> All right, y'all. That is the end of this first episode. And honest to God, it's probably the first premiere in a very long time that I just, I don't want to end. I want to keep going. <laughs> Not even just to get to the mystery, but to play those games. That was a lot of fun. And I can't remember which, which one of the games had a harder level. I think it was the one we just did, The Swimmer's Itch. So we'll try the harder level <clears throat> and see if maybe that gives us another token or maybe two tokens. Who knows? Uh, but before we do any of that, we do have to get our card reloaded as well with Harlan. So I got to remember that. I'll take note of it. We didn't really have any notes today. There wasn't anything groundbreaking or, you know, <clears throat> this one's kind of more of a slow burn, I think. I think because the climax will be quick. You know what I mean? Like uh, some mysteries you start... And the hints are just everywhere. Like, the clues are just everywhere. So you're constantly writing things down. But this one seems a little more, like I said in the beginning, a little laid back. So you can have your fun with it and kind of mosey along. And, you know, just just take it with a grain of salt for now. And uh, smell the stop and smell the roses. So <laughs> that's what we're doing. And that's what we've done so far. So I'm happy. I'm happy with our results so far. We haven't really made much of an impact in the way of finding the culprit. Well, we'll get there. We definitely need to talk to Ingrid still. Uh, Patrick Chan, or I think his name's Patrick. Sounds like a figure skater. I'm pretty sure that's a figure skater. <laughs> Canadian figure skater too. Did that just like leap from my memory bank? Okay, anyways. <laughs> but we do need to talk to them, get things sorted out, get their take on things. And then from there, we'll probably have a good understanding of, you know, who's sus, who's not, who's, you know, kind of playing it cool and who's getting on our nerves <laughs> so we will we will get to that and uh and we'll definitely be playing more of those arcade games i'm going to get every toy from the machine from the from the uh, from the reward machine we're gonna get every toy and then maybe we'll unlock an easter egg who knows all right folks 
thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so very much. I love you guys. And I, I just, like I said in the beginning, I am just so happy that we can come together as a collective group of people that just mutually have the same love or s admiration and just passion for Nancy Drew. All things Nancy Drew. So thanks for sticking it out with me here. And uh, um, definitely drop in the comments below if you have any suggestions, any hints. I might have already missed something. <laughs> and any like tidbit information. You know, like I like, I, I do like the behind the scenes um facts as well you know like fun fact did you know that you know the creator did this last minute or stuff like that i love that information that is right up my alley so if you do know anything behind the scenes or anything kind of like fun fact-ish about this game please let me know i will definitely like your comment and i will definitely respond and and get back to you that's that's definitely up my alley i'm looking at you red wolf <laughs> <laughs> I know you know something. <laughs> Tell me what you know. Tell me everything. I want to know all the t little secrets and tidbits from this. So far, there's a few things I picked up on. Like, we picked up on that noise from uh, the haunted house. That was from Curse of Blackmore Manor. PTSD. Uh, <laughs> and those illustrations from the painting. They look like they came from uh, a game later on. So probably the same illustrator sorry digital designer graphic designer whatever you want to label that as but uh hard job nonetheless so kudos out there whoever you are <laughs> so yeah uh see you guys next time toodles for now ta-ta ciao till next time guys Howdy folks! Did you like that video? Well then why don't you go ahead and give that thumbs up a smackaroo. Don't want to miss out on the next episode? Give the subscribe button some love and make sure to turn your notifications on. That way I can give you a bell a ring let you know when it is served. Still need more to chew on? Take a bite of my new YouTube Instagram account at TravyJ Space to keep up to date with the channel's inner workings and news of upcoming projects and episodes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.